Welcome to Birdie Bio Trailers. Inside this trailer is everything you need to turn recycled grease, French fry oil, into biodiesel. This is where we start. Before we put any tanks or any plumbing or any electrical in here, first thing we do is paint the walls with three coats of latex paint. That gives it, that makes it very easy to clean. Any spills, any messes you make. Then we tile it with this uh, eighth inch thick commercial grade tile. This, this is the six by 12, the medium size. Over here we have our uh, small unit, the five by eight. And uh, as you can see, we've also painted and tiled this one. And this one is ready for assembly as well. Okay, so what you just saw was our medium and our small after we tiled and painted them. What we have here, this is our largest, the VB6, VBT3600. It's been tiled and painted, it's under construction, so please excuse the mess. Uh, as you can see, I'm laying out the copper lines for all the water, uh, putting in all the uh, conduit and the electrical, and starting the plumbing, getting all the tanks plumbed, and uh, the heating tanks and the drying tanks, getting it all set up. I've spent the last eight to 10 months myself working solely on, on building these, engineering these, and, and figuring out what the flaws were, what uh, design, you know, how to design them so that they're easily upgraded or replaced. My, my brother John, the one that actually uh, tests them, will find any problem that's possible and uh, point it out to me. And then I will take the necessary steps to correct that so that uh, I don't have to listen to him. <laughs> this is a VBT 3600. It's our largest model. It's a mobile unit that comes in an enclosed 8 by 16 trailer capable of producing 3,600 gallons of premium biodiesel each month. Each one of our larger units will come with a workstation like this one here built into it uh, where you will do your, your testing of your um, raw oil, do your titration. Each one of the 3,600s comes with its own compressor built in that runs the air pump, mixes the methanol and the lye to create the meth oxide that then will go into the raw oil. This is where the raw oil actually comes in. You hook up outside the trailer with a, a gator hook and the oil actually comes in here through a filter into this tank. The tank is powder coated and insulated, has two heaters, two heating elements built into it that then heat the oil up in order to break loose any of the uh, particulates that may be floating in the oil. Once the, uh, once the oil is heated to a certain temperature and your methanol and your KOH, your potassium hydroxide, are mixed, which is now a meth oxide, the oil then leaves the heating tank and the meth oxide leaves that tank and it goes over here to the mixing tank. This is our mixing tank. This mixing tank will run 120 gallon batches. In the mixing tank where the reaction with the meth oxide and the raw stock, the raw oil, occurs, what happens there is you get a, a, a chemical breakdown of the triglyceride molecule and you break off two of them into a methyl ester, which is diesel, and the other one, which is glycerin, falls to the bottom. It's heavier. And then that will drain out the bottom. So you can come down here, open the certain valves and be able to drain the glycerol out into a container outside. One of the features that's very unique to, to Verde Biotrailers is our control panel. We're the only one on the market that has one like this. this are, these are all set on timers so that you can work with each batch depending on your batch size. For example, if you have X amount of oil in this tank, you will set your heaters to a certain amount of time so that they run up to the right temperature. Uh, same with the main pump pumping station or the water wash. Depending on the size of your batch that you use to do, there will be different time settings that you can set this control panel for. Literally, when you come in here to work a batch, you come in, you set your times, you move whatever valves need to be moved, and then you go away and let the process happen on its own. Also, one of the unique features of having our mobile unit is they come with a sink built into them. The larger unit comes with a sink built into them so you can do your cleanup after you've been making your biodiesel. You'll notice that... Uh, in this position right here, all the plumbing, each one of these valves is in the same direction, in an up and down direction. 
The unique thing about this, and this is unique completely to Verde Bio trailers, is that when you look in here, if these handles are all up, everything's off. So you can walk away from this machine knowing for sure, this processor knowing for sure, that everything is shut down and safe. When you need to go and start a certain function and you need to move oil from, say, that tank over to this tank, you can see this goes into that tank, and you can know this has got to get turned on, and this has got to come through here, so let's get the oil coming out of here. It's a very, very user-friendly, simple system. So once this chemical process is finished, the, the, the finished biodiesel now needs to come over to this tank, and this is our washing tank. This is the final filtration. This, this, this liquid, this methyl ester, is a biodiesel, but it needs to be refined further by removing any more particulates or glycerol that may still be suspended in the liquid. What we do is a water wash. It's a, literally a bath. We're going to scrub this oil with water and the water is going to cling to the remaining glycerol, methanol, or particulates that may still be in here. That then will sink to the bottom and be drained off as well. Once this bath is complete and the biodiesel has been scrubbed, it is now injected with water molecules that need to be removed. So it leaves this tank, it leaves the washing tank, and via our piping, it comes over to this tank. This tank here is our drying tank. You'll notice that uh, there's shower heads up here. What happens here is, through the process of entering this tank, it'll be showered into here, atomizing the liquid, and allowing the water to evaporate off. Now once this is full, it'll be pumped continuously through for many hours while the water evaporates off. And so this is a drying tank. This is a very unique process that we incorporated with the multi-head showers. These tanks you'll see also just to mention are powder coated and they're solid steel tanks.